Hey guys, what? Stop doing it. Now back to G.I. Joe. I'm sorry for him. I really am. Apologize for my co-host. Game, we're back with an all-new review right here on YouTube.com slash ToyWorldOrder and ToyWorldOrder.com with me, Duvall, and my buddy, Dave Jaber. Yay! Yay! How are you? I am well. How are you? Are you ready to, to yo-jo it up? Yo. Don't ever say yo again. Don't. Don't ever say yo again. It's, yeah, no. That was kind of creepy. <laughs> yo. Okay. Now, if you had a Joe to it, it would have been all right. Try it with Yojo. Just try Yojo. Yo Joe. Nope, still creepy. Yeah. Don't ever say it. Don't ever say it. Just, just doesn't work, Dave. I'm sorry. Be like the puppet. <laughs> just lay your head down. <laughs> okay, we are back with a look at two of the all new, uh, well, mostly all new three packs for the GI Joe 50th for the Toys R Us exclusive three packs for the majority of GI Joe collectors. The other two are new to them. That's right. Uh, the other two include uh, part of one of the uh, Mass Device DVD sets. Which was super hard to find. Which was the last one they released, and w I literally only saw it one time ever at stores. And then uh, one of them has like figures from that set and the accessories. The other one has the last figure from that set, Alpine, and two army builders that were not exactly common to find at stores anyway. Right. So, I mean, even though they're not like new, new... They are things that a lot of Joe collectors are going to be happy to be able to get their hands Finally, on. Finally. Yeah. And not have to pay ridiculous Not have to pay, like, monstrous fees. Yeah. yeah. But we are looking at the Sneak Attack and the Vanishing Act three packs uh, from Toys R Us and the Toys R Us exclusives. Yep. Uh, these are starting to hit stores all over the nation now, along with all the vehicles and everything else. So, uh, Yeah, these... our Toys R Us has officially gotten in everything they're going to get. Yep. Yay. Yay. Uh, these what there two packs too? You bought other two. They packs were too. two packs, but they were bought and opened. Yeah, Dave opened those. He couldn't wait, mostly because it had Croc Master and Dave loves it him some Croc Master. Dave loves him some Croc Master, so you won't be getting reviews of those two packs because, well, Croc Dave, Master's Croc Master and Dave's Blowtorch. Is Blowtorch. Dave's selfish. I probably should have saved the uh, Cobra Commander. Gun, no, the Gung Ho one. Oh, the Gung Ho Gun one. Gung Ho yeah. one's the one that people are really excited yeah. about. Yeah, yeah. Maybe we'll review them loose. Maybe. Yeah. The guns are already kind of all mixed okay. up with each other. Good. Way to go, Dave. You know, they're my toys. Well, but that's true, but that's our content, dang it. <laughs> then perhaps we should get going on making some content by reviewing <laughs> these products. I think Dave is correct. Uh, the Sneak Attack set consists of uh, Bazooka, consists of Zoo. Firefly. And Dusty. And Dusty. Uh, in these very... Uh, Dusty and Bazooka are in a kind of a odd blue color scheme. Like baby blue color. Like, like vaguely movie uniformish, UN-ish. I like them. I, I'm very fond of the color blue. They're supposed to be for like nighttime camouflage kind of sort thing. Sort of a yeah, quasi weird night force dealio. Yeah. Again, I like them. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I, I, I got no beef. The Firefly figure... Oops. Yep, the Firefly. I had to figure out which hand is which. Uh, the Firefly figure in this is actually kind of cool because his colors are reversed. From the classic from the Firefly classic pattern. Firefly. Yeah. Yeah. So that, that makes it a little bit of a unique Firefly. Even though it's the same figure we've had before, um, it does make it a little bit of a cool, unique, different yeah, version yeah. of him. So that's cool. And then Dave's package over here. Um, has Zartan, Master of Disguise. You know, I'm doing it. Uh, Torpedo, the uh, Navy SEAL, the original Navy SEAL. And Hit and Run, a new Hit and Run. This is... The it's third or fourth hit and run we've gotten Hasbro uh, loves fairly recently. Hasbro loves them some hit and run. Not really. Not really. Um, they, uh, apparently they do now. Uh, but what's unique about him is his uh, kind of gray color scheme. We'll talk about him in a minute. I guess we're doing that one first. Uh, yeah, they come with file cards. Uh, the file cards, uh, they have a front and they have a back, and you get two for each figure in four different languages. So this is the English... Sabatur Cobra, Sabatator, and Sabiotoriodor Cobra. Yeah. So basically, you get six cards. They're double sided. One side will have English. Uh, my favorite is the Cobra Commander one from the two pack, which has him as Chef Cobra. Well, that makes these all the well worthwhile now. It does, actually. My, my humble opinion, yes. it does. 
Yes, uh, I have all the uh, I have all dusty specialist. Collect them all. Charles anti chars. Collect them all and learn new languages. Yes. Uh, Soldat do deset. Soldado de Terranos Ariatos. Solata uh, de Deserta. And then Desert Trooper. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you know, it's it's a cool feature. Uh, I don't know if this means they're planning on releasing them overseas or if they're just... I, you know, I, I don't quite know why they're doing the all-out on the uh, multilingual, but... Uh, you know what? People who speak other languages deserve to have toys, too. They can have toys. They just can't read them. They just can't read them. You would, you would go over well in Quebec. <laughs> I would. No, I wouldn't. No, you wouldn't. No. Je non. must speak the French. Uh, no. <laughs> what did I, did I do German there for French? What did I, do? I don't know what you did. Oh, God. Anyway, so we've got uh, three figures in here. we got Dusty. And uh, Dave here has already... Uh, I, may, I may have gotten into these. Dave may or may not have already played with these. They're box sets, though, so I could close them back up again. That's right. That is right. So we've got, we've got Dusty here. Who was, uh, uh, he was a he was a later figure. Um, I'm, I can't remember if he was a 30th or a pursuit figure. Um, maybe even a rise. Uh, comes with this. Yeah, yeah it comes, comes with a, it comes with a little sort of scarf and cape thing, which yeah. is how I know he's a later figure. Yeah. So you now one issue I have head. is it does not look right. No, that yeah, and and on the on the regular figure in the desert color scheme, the tan color scheme, it doesn't look off like that. So I'm thinking the webbing is a different combat webbing. I may be wrong, um, but I don't remember my I don't remember the the standard desert color one kind of having that weird the the things standing up like that as as prominent. Maybe it's just me. Could be. Man, you took you didn't take bazooka out of here. I did not take I didn't take bazooka or farfly out. Man, I just want to go play around with a cape. Fair enough. It's a cape. It is a cape. How can you how can you resist? How can you resist? How can you resist? No. Uh, we have bazooka here, who is uh, yep. same bazooka with the big old the no neck. I think that was my only complaint with the bazooka figure the first time is his head his head's way too small and he's got no neck. Yeah, that sounds about right for bazooka though. <laughs> Bazooka was traditionally not presented as the sharpest uh, knife in the show. No, but his head could be at least, you know, scaled to his body. Mm. But uh, we'll take a look. At, we'll take a look at their accessories and stuff closer up in here a little bit. But uh, then you have Firefly. Firefly. Oh God. Why Hasbro? Why with the stringy? Now I noticed. And yeah, I know that was like a weird throwback that they had the old uh, school. Plastic bands, the, the rubber bandy plastic bands. Instead of the, uh, instead of the the paper things that they use, or the now they have like little, they're not even bands, they're just like little strips. Um, I did notice that on about half the ones that I took out of the packaging, those those little rubber bands like snapped immediately, tore immediately. So and then Firefly in this set, so yeah, some cool figures. And then over here in Dave's box, here in my box. You show you show yours up. Play, play, you show show yours up. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play with mine. All right. Well, I'm gonna get mine ready for the close up. You you show yours. Up. All right. Again, we have the uh, Navy Seal, Light Infantry Man, and oh, I almost had it. Master of Disguise. The Maître du Disfrace. Or the Maître du Disguise Mint. <laughs> oh, 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 we're terrible people. Oh, we're not. Yeah, we're, we're from the Midwest. We're provincial. Where we all, y'all like to come down and play with us, y'all. Y'all. So we have Zartan. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure if he's a new, new Zartan or. Um, That's what I was wondering because I know. I'm not 100 percent sure on that. We, I know we've had a Zartan like that before, but like you said, uh, he, off camera, this might be the ultimate version. He's of a very, very nice version of Zartan. Um, Again, we have Torpedo. Torpedo is mainly an eel repurposed, ironically. Um, but I think the final effect is actually really nice. And then Hit and Run. Um, and Hit and Run has been very controversial. People don't like him. I didn't uh, like him. The gray color scheme is throwing people off. Like, the, the, the gray face is, is weirding people out. Uh, oh, no. Uh, Herner! Says the puppet. Traditionally, he's green. 
Uh, so my my thing has been that this is from the Peter David arc where he goes to Vegas and becomes a bouncer. And I will keep. I was gonna say I keep. I will keep making that joke until somebody laughs. <laughs> Uh, but this is actually the fourth hit and run we've gotten. Uh, there was one in the Attack on Cobra Island set, which would have been released normally, but that, that set was the figures that were left over from the 25th line uh, that didn't get released. Uh, the club has done him twice, once in the Night Force set uh, from that convention, and then he was a subscription figure in a slightly different green color scheme. My, my question is why? Is hit and run that popular? Uh, apparently he is. He doesn't even come with his duffel bag this time around, though. So I don't know what's Beard. up with that. That's like his whole... So it's his whole stick. Yeah, it's all it's all stick is he comes with a duffel bag. Weird. Yes, it is. And those are the three guys from that set. Very interesting sets. Uh, I I do uh, the I, I do get a kick out of the fact that we have multilingual uh, file cards that aren't they're necessarily like that the two packs, fire too. cards. They're just like little collector squares. Yeah. It's I don't weird. quite get that either. What do you say we take an uh, up-close and personal look at these six figures and their uh, details? Oh, 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 oui, oui. Let's take a look. Magnifique. All right, an up-close and personal look Very at our close. two box sets at uh, Sneak Attack and Vanishing Act. Am I correct? I'm um, sure. Why not? Vanishing Act. Yay, Sneak Attack and Vanishing Act. And, of course, Sneak Attack, Vanishing Act. Sneak Attack, Vanishing Act. Sneak Attack. You get the idea. No, that makes sense. You got Zartan who who vanishes. Yeah. Because he's got his chameleon powers, and you've got the two guys in the weird blue mm. uniforms for those sneak attacks at yes. that sort of dusk. Oh, Dusty here. You can kind of see what Dave was saying. How the uh, the the piece, the cape piece here, doesn't uh, right. doesn't doesn't sit right because yeah. of the webbing here. It's kind of wow. kind of hangs off him a little bit. And the problem is, we noticed with Dusty's this, ready for war, man. Well, and the. The problem with these Joes is, and Dave and I were talking about it off camera as we were setting these up, is the fact that they the, the goggles, hands, by the way, are Dusty's. Oh, are they? Yes. All right. Well, my bad. That we'll, was my we'll fault. We'll get that later. Yeah, I think they look all right on Bazooka. Uh, <laughs> uh, the problem with like Dusty's hands is he's got these weird, and the Joe figures like the last few years have had these weird, yeah, these, these weird, weird sort of thumbs that are yeah. like that, and they can't really. It, it's so hard. It to makes it hard for them to hold their weapons. Yeah, and I finally got his weapons to hold him. You know, for him to hold them, and, and if you even move or sneeze. They're gonna fall out, but uh, he's got the little cape there. He's got a little holster for his uh, his knife here, but he, he also comes with a teeny, teeny, tiny little pistol here. I don't know if you can see teeny, tiny little pistol. Teeny, oh, oops, hold it by the barrel. Tiny pistol. That's how you that's how you shoot yourself. A uh, little teeny, tiny pistol right there that has nowhere to go on him. Um, he has nowhere to put teeny, tiny pistol. But uh, Dusty is. Uh, he's going off the wall. And we have Bazooka, who yes, Dave is correct. He's wearing Dusty's uh, Dusty's uh, goggles. Goggles, but that's all right. Uh, but Bazooka is uh, much much in the vein of the Bazooka we've seen before. He's the pretty much. It's, yeah, I think it is the uh, it's the Bazooka they've done twice now. They did it as a regular Bazooka, and they've done him as uh, this year's uh, Tiger Force set. Yeah, um, pretty much same accessories. He comes with a big gun. He comes with his his Bazooka and his missiles. Problem with his backpack, and I'm not sure if it's going to be like this for everyone, but you can see how warped. Yeah, the plastic it's is very in warped backpack. on one side. Um, it's very, very warped. Uh, you could tell trying to get the missiles in. It just they did not want to go in. You could tell that one sits back farther because how warped it is. Uh, but he comes with all the same accessories that he's had uh, in the past. I think, believe, am I correct? Uh, the backpack, the missiles, and the launcher are all are all stuff that he keep, he's come with repeatedly. The uh, the the shotgun, I'm not 100 percent sure on. Yeah, and he's got this big double. Double-handled shotgun there. Yeah, uh, which is kind of cool. But uh, I mean, it, it's come with somebody else before. Yeah, Bazooka's a pretty cool-looking figure. Right. And then you got Firefly out of there, which again, like we talked about, his colors are switched. Which the grays and the silvers are usually flip-flopped on the what what yeah the dark gray and the yeah. light grays are usually yep. reversed. And on here, of course, they've reversed them, and it gives him this really neat, really cool look that we makes him look different. Yeah, it does make him do, uh, stand out a little differently. He's got a big sniper rifle there. And he's got his uh, his backpack here. It's not a sniper rifle. It's a. Uh, um, is it a suppressor? Suppressed. Yeah. No. Oh, okay. Big rifle with a suppressor on it. And he's got his backpack with his little removable mines, uh, yep. which we just recently saw. Uh, those came with the basilisk. Yep. Those were with the basilisk. Uh, and of course he's got a he's got a little bomb there, which I'm not sure is that removable yes. or not. It is removable. Yes. Yeah. I think there. he's got one on the back too. Yeah. 
And then he's got a little a gun holster and the knife here, which I don't believe the knife comes out, but it sure does look like... No, it does. It comes out. It's just in there really tight. The gun's in there really tight, too. I don't know if you can tell, but by putting the gun in this holster, like, the plastic is... Uh, oh, is, nice. Yeah. Thanks for breaking my new toys. Oh, your, your toy's fine. Um, I think every version of that figure is going to be like that, though, uh, just because of the way the plastic... I'm just wondering if you gave him, like, Dusty's gun and Dusty has the right pistol. Mm, I don't think so. Whatever. Break my stuff. No, I don't think so. That was the little pistol that was with Dusty. No, no, Dusty's pistol's way bigger. Okay, well then let's not... Yeah, see? No. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Do that off camera, but I'll take his gun out there. But uh, Firefly's a nice looking figure. I think overall, I like the, the details on his backpack are really nice. Like the little, the, the bomb here and the grenades and such. Yeah. But uh, it's very, very nice, like we said, a very nice... That uh, backpack I'm not familiar with. It, it's got the plug for the mines, but yeah. it... I, I'm not going to go on a limb and say it's a new mold, but it, it definitely is one that I am not familiar with. Yeah. Offhand. And of course, the mines here, they just... Yeah. The mines they've had around for a while. I believe that was a Pursuit of Cobra. Yeah, they just Firefly unplug. Firefly had yep. the first mines. Yep, they just unplug from one another and they plug in together. So. Yeah. Very cool. Very cool little figure. And then you get uh, Dave's sneak attack. You get his hit and run figure, which Dave had a little bit of love loss for him uh, while he was yeah, putting it together. Yeah, issues. Yep. Yeah, so... Um, I, I do... I understand people... There are a lot of people that don't like this because it looks like stone. Dave, of course, likes it because it makes him look cooler. And I think he looks cool. It's a very unique use of uh, paint for the camouflage. It does... Uh, I could see that being a very... Of course, being very effective in wartime. Um, well, I think... I, I, I just think, you know, with the green, you kind of know it's camouflage, so they make his head all green. Right. So you kind of know that it's camouflage. I think the gray just has this weird sort of dead... Stony, you know, reminds it, just, me of, it looks unnatural. Reminds me of Predator. Really? From when he was in, covered in the mud? Yeah. yeah. Kinda. Kinda. Yeah, see, he reminds me of Grey Hulk, and uh, so I love it. I, I think I he's cool. You. But he, he's got a he's got a removable knife here that comes out. He's got a gun with a removable. There's another gun in the holster on the front. Uh, and this this gun has a. Uh, yeah. Uh, somebody that we reviewed earlier had that exact same uh, kind of gun. I think I think the new uh, Chuckles. Yeah, the new Chuckles had, had that gun, gun with yep. the had that the this exact, yep, that yeah. exact same uh, setup there, and he has the big. Uh, a big standard assault rifle. A lot of Joes and Cobras are coming with that. Yep. It's a very very big very cool weapon there. And of course, the goggles are a separate piece. And I like goggles the, are a separate piece. The, the purple look to them is kind of cool. It gives it, you know, that nice light. And then of course, he's got his uh, his backpack there. Yep. And he seems a little wobbly. Yeah, he's a little wobbly. Which is which is weird for Joe figures to be. No, not nowadays. Not nowadays. No. I think he's got this removable. Uh, gun if up you notice when we did we we had done a review of Old Snake, his head was really wobbly. Ah, uh, his head was yeah, his head really was wobbly. So, Hit runs a pretty decent figure. I like him. And then you've got. A torpedo. A torpedo. Torpedo away. Which uh, is a very cool figure. Of course, our, he's got that. Our native Hawaiian. Yes. Um, you know, I, I like the little the little fins here are, are articulated. So you yeah. Can, you can pose them up so he can walk or put them down so he can swim. Yeah. He comes with a harpoon gun, which is classic vintage. Classic, yeah, the classic torpedo um, harpoon gun. And then he's got the, 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 the mask here, which is pretty cool. Which, and then the backpack, which, which plugs is Which plugs into the backpack. Yeah, uh, into the I backpack. had a little issue getting the air hoses plugged in. But yep, the hoses had a little issue. but uh, Again, he's basically the body is basically the eel body that they've been using forever. Yeah, two but, I mean, two looks, removable knives. He looks good. I think one's supposed to be a pistol. Like That, that back holster looks more like a pistol holder. Yeah. But I had an extra knife and no extra pistol. So. Yeah. But uh, a very nice look to, what are you to going yeah, do? yeah, very nice look to him though. Um, very, very classic vintage look to him, which is kind of, kind of a, a a little bit of a change of pace from the rest of the figures in these box sets. Is this is very classic, much like Zartan. It's a very vintage looking figure with the paint scheme and everything. Am I correct on that? On I would, uh, yeah, I, I think they try to make him look like a very, uh, def I don't want to say definitive per se, but a but a very, very classic looking torpedo. Hut, 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 And then we get Zartan, the master of disguise, whose arms are frozen. Oh, no. So Dave will have to work on his arms. Apparently you can't, I will. His, his elbows are, uh, yeah, they don't, they don't move. But uh, it comes with, uh, comes with the big old crossbow launcher that I believe uh, Storm Shadow had. I'm pretty sure Storm Shadow came with that first. Yep. And he's got a little... Uh, he's got a classic backpack. Yep, he's got a little removable gun here in the holster oh, okay. right back here, a little, little pistol. Teeny tiny pistol there that comes out of his holster, and uh, he's got his little weird little knife there. 
It kind of looks like a butter knife. Looks like well, a, perhaps it is a butter looks knife. Looks like a, a cake spreader. Perhaps. I want some cake. Perhaps he's going under... Okay. What? Here's the thing. Why? Here's the thing. He, he disappears for a moment. Oh. oh Fantasy neck. Okay. Fantasy neck. It comes with a little backpack, which is a classic kind of vintage... Classic backpack where yep. you're supposed to store the, the mask. Yes, you're supposed to put the mask in, so it comes with a, a little Duke mask. And it comes with a Storm Shadow mask. Storm Shadow wow. mask, which is kind of cool. Pooch this entire life. Which, uh, which Dave really likes, the little Storm Shadow mask. I just think it's funny. I don't know that we'll have enough time the, left in our lives to do the joke that I wanted to do. The masks go inside the backpack like so. See, they just the, kind the of... The masks work like... He's like... I am... I, I am not Zartan. I am a simple baker here to spread butter on the rolls. <laughs> Zartan, who is Zartan? Who is Zartan? See, that's why I have the butter knife. I am just a... I'm here to I'm put the... I'm a baker. I'm here to put the butter on the cake. Yes. And, of course, the third mask he comes with is the vintage style... Um, just random dude. Random face. dude with a goatee. Yeah. Uh, they work like the old style masks where they they plug in using the hood. Uh, they don't work very well. No. Frankly, uh, I know a lot of I know some Zartans just come with with extra heads, different heads. Yeah. Look look at the Duke head. That is definitely better. Me. <laughs> yeah. Look, look, hair's poking out of the top. Wow. <laughs> uh, Storm Shadow is probably the best one out. I think out of the whole bunch. Like it plugs in. Uh, Plugs in much better. See, that's yeah. much. That's much better. It's like, what? Storm Shadow? Why are you dressed like Zartan? It it's is. Halloween. Yeah. This is Halloween. This is Halloween. 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 <laughs> Halloween. <laughs> Dropped his butter knife. Ah, uh, he did drop his butter knife. Storm Shadow can't butter any cakes. Can't butter cakes without my knife. I need my knife to butter the cakes. Oh, mm. we are sorry that we subjected you to this horrible, horrible review, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Zartans are really nice. I like the, the three masks he comes with are, are really nice, though. I like the idea of them. The, in practice, they don't really seem to be paying off. Uh, the Storm Shadow one's about the only one that pays off really well. But uh, all in all, uh, a decent uh, set of six figures, I think. Wouldn't you agree? I would. I, yes, think, yes. They're, I think they're a nice uh, um, addition to the uh, overall Joe collection. So, Zartan, tell me. What do the voices in your head tell you to do? You know, you're not allowed to do that. That was very controversial. The original file card said he was a schizophrenic. He, well, he is. That was a no-no. Oh, come on, look. Look, these are the voices in his head. Zatan, butter the bread. No, butter the cake. Butter the bread. Butter the cake. Butter, butter, butter. Butter? There you go, guys. There's a look at two of the three packs of Toys R Us exclusive G.I. Joe 50th Anniversary line of figures, Sneak Attack and uh, uh, Vanishing Act. Yes. Yes. I always forget the names of the boxes. Yes, I do, apparently. Uh, but a, a decent set of six figures, pretty much all of which we've seen before. Um, yeah. I mean, there's, there's nothing super new and groundbreaking. Um, Zartan's Butter Knife is awesome. <laughs> yes. We do love some butter knives. We, I think we love any accessory that allows us to create our own little uh, world storyline uh, scenario. It's a wonderful, wonderful thing. Yes. It makes us happy. Uh, yeah, it makes me happy. It keeps, just... keeps us amused. No, I was having fun. Oh, okay. Make, it comes. His, so, whole, his whole little, I'm undercover as the baker. Uh, so how is he, is he? I am the baker of so, the town. Butter than I am. Butter than I am. They don't into my back pocket, which pops open and drops faces on the floor. <laughs> Ah, that's a beautiful thing. Well, there you go, guys. We'll Not a hood, it's a hairnet, because I am a baker! That, that dude face is pretty epic. Dude, did we get a proper close-up of that creepy, creepy dude face? Come here, Scarlet. <laughs> I got present for I you, girl. I got special mm -hmm. snuggling for you. Mm -hmm. There you go, gang. Dave and I will be back real soon with an all new review right here on ToyWorldOrder.com and YouTube.com slash ToyWorldOrder. Make sure you hit the subscribe button on YouTube. YouTube.com slash ToyWorldOrder. Ah, shit. Mash. Oh, I'll come visit you in the night. You probably should mash it. You probably should go just subscribe, like, just sign up for multiple accounts and just keep subscribing because this creepy Zartan with the Duke face is coming for you. Coming for you. You. First he's coming for David, he's coming for you. Because he's, coming, for me. he's going he home. He's coming home for you. He's got to go home with you. He doesn't have to stay here. Game over back real soon with an auto review, but until next time, David. Uh, keep playing with your toys. Or, you don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. Well, and then creep yourself out, because that creepy dude, man.
You know what? I'm gonna go this way because that dude's that dude's scaring me. Hey, where are you going? No, I'm leaving. Where are you going? I'm leaving. Come here, boy. No! Don't make me chase you. Don't chase me all you want. Don't make me chase you. That only makes it worse. Oh God! You'll get it double. That's right. 